Hello, it's Mathias, and I am continuing my non-intended purpose video series with some air-to-air -air combat. In uh, all of these fights, you are going to see me flying with the rocket pods, and uh, these are the air-to-ground rockets that are designed to kill tanks and infantry players and some such, and I will be using them against enemy aircrafts. However, I'm only going to use them in situations where I find them being reliable or semi-reliable. In this case, the site was already burning, he was close to me and uh, I had a good angle on him. And even though when I fly with the rocket pods, I do have a lot of air-to-air -air combat engagements, it is quite rare that I actually use them for that purpose. It is of course a lot easier against galaxies and against liberators than against ESFs. And I'm pretty sure it goes without saying the fact that they are bigger, they are slower, less agile and uh, a lot uh, easier to predict. Now the biggest advantage I have found with using the rocket pods even for air-to-air -air combat is the additional ammo it gives you. Uh, normally when I fly uh, with fuel pods I have a tendency to overextend quite a lot and uh, I'm quite far away from where I can resupply. Another advantage that the rocket pods will give you in these situations is that you can maintain fire while reloading with your primary gun. And this might be especially interesting to uh, mosquito pilots being that uh, mosquito has the longest reload time with uh, the air-to-air -air M18 rotary compared to the hailstorm and the vortex. But as you can see in that last engagement I don't use it all that much and uh, when I do I try to do it when I already have an advantage and uh, preferably when my opponent ends up being an easier target. This is not one of those uh, situations. He was after burning away, making a really good dodging maneuver, and I missed all of those rockets. Hmm. Uh, that side's coming from the cells. Right here. Now with the projectile speed of the rocket pods being as slow as it is, you have to lead quite heavily on a moving target. And in almost all situations where I use it against ESFs, it would have been easier to uh, hit them with the rotary anyway. Now the most popular loadout for air-to-air -air combat among experienced uh, pilots is to have the fuel pods equipped and the Empire-specific air-to-air -air gun for whatever faction you play. And when it comes to air-to-air -air combat in general, it is a massive disadvantage not having the fuel pods in almost all situations. Oh, just a little. Like so many times before, I finish the last bullets of my air-to-air -air gun and I'm left with only the rocket pods. Luckily, I had uh, a wingman with me. His name is Edexel and he's helping me out here, otherwise I'm pretty sure I would be dead. And even though I'm not that far away from this mosquito, it is really hard to hit him with uh, the rocket pods. So I get closer and I was able to finish him off. <laughs> what a ninja! Oh, flak here, not good. Two turrets up. Two mozzies behind you, whoever's following the other mozzie. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're targeting you, both of them. Where is that? Towards turret from crossroads. One is going away, go for the other one. Other one's going to cross out. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm helping. 
No ammo, but he's burning. He's down. I got hit by two lock-ons, but I got my flares up the last second so I could flare. And there was a third. Eyes on yeah. an enemy gun There's a chimera over impact. Sorry. So if there's any advices I would give to people who wants to use the rocket pods for air-to-air -air combat, I would say use them while you are reloading with your primary gun. That's one of the most important things. Make sure that the reloading animation has started and that it has passed at least one quarter because I think if it doesn't go past one quarter uh, you'll have to restart the reloading. I'm not sure exactly where that is. But that's the one thing that uh, I find most useful with the rocket pods is that you can continuously deal damage. Also, I would say don't gamble with the rocket pods, at least not too much. In almost all situations, the primary gun is going to be better than the rocket pods and much more reliable. For pure air to air combat, the fuel pods are much better than the rocket pods and against a experienced uh, pilot with fuel pods, you are going to find yourself in a disadvantage. So I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you all for watching, and that's it, bye for now. Nowhere to run. There's also a prowler coming shit too on me. Okay, I've got this guy got spotted. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the one behind you. Oh shit. Okay. I'm dead. Nice. Still one left. 